What's up everybody, it's Jay Wilson and just got back from Dallas North Aquarium. I was there for a little bit of work helping some customers get some product, but I've got some stuff here. Liam opened it. I pre-cut the boxes because it's, you know, yeah, it's super hard to do it with hands and a camera, but as you know, I've always used Sun Suns. Matter of fact, boom. There's three of them on this aquarium. And the idea was is I never knew anybody in the United States that had them and I was always buying them and I never got an opportunity to meet anybody until a couple years ago at Aquatic Experience. I ran into this company who is actually the distributor for the Sun Sun product here in North America. I believe just the United States, but I'm gonna say North America. And we had been in contact and I said, anytime you want me to try something out or you'd like me to show it, uh, I'd be happy to do so. You know, if I need to pay, that's fine, but I wanna be able to, to get it and see it. And they said, yeah, let's work something out. So two years later, still using Sun Sun. And look at how awesome this is. Boom! So this is the HW3000. Let me pull it out real quick and we'll kind of run down what it does. And then we're gonna, we're gonna put this puppy through the test. We'll do an unboxing run through about quality, how I feel originally. And then we'll also run through performance. So we're not gonna open this, but there was a little little secret in here. This is a H2 Pro titanium heater with digital controller. It has two LED spaces I'm being climbed on. And it's a 300 watt, so that could be potentially good for that 100 gallon, because remember, it's about five watts a gallon. So large flow high head, it's a better pump, it's more efficient. And I mean, it's got ceramic shaft in there for both fresh and salt water, so it's gonna be longer lasting. Um, draining skep of multi-layer design, different filter material, convenient cleaning. I have no idea what that means, Chinese. <laughs> um, siphon principle can get rid of all the air and filter, easy operation. So I'm basically reading this as it's gonna solve those Sun Sun problems of me manually siphoning. Even though if that was the worst issue, I've only had one break on me the whole time in the last six years, and it was my failure. I didn't clean it properly, and it cracked along the seal edge. But outside of that, I have three running, and honestly, it's probably the best bang for your buck. However, I do really like the Fluval series, just Sun Sun, which up until now, I have 100% paid for every single one and received zero cents for anything. And there's, there's no money that I'm gonna be receiving. It's just a product that I'm able to try out, which is great. Um, down here, it looks to be very similar plastics. Again, there's gonna be a whole unboxing video, so if that's what you're looking for, I apologize. Uh, but I think it's good just to kind of go over what it does, what it is, and then give you the full nitty gritty. So, got the flow, it's pretty easy. Down in, all the way around, there's probably some bypass just like every other canister. Uh, but canister seems to do a little bit better uh, with the bypass. So we're, I'm really curious. I'm really excited to see how the HW3000 works. The touch screen, <laughs> the touch screen really doesn't do anything for me, but the auto siphoning does. The smaller motor, the higher power is super important. So another really neat thing that I enjoy is lighting. I have to have the right lighting, whether it was Beamsworks early on. I've been a current USA fan for a very long time. Clearly that Vivarium is rocking with the current USA Satellite Plus Pro. Um, currently on this tank and this tank, I've been using the Fluval 3.0 series, actually that tank too, all runs off the same app, but I still have some things that I need to set up. Uh, so I still have some current lights. So either way, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for a solid vivarium light at 18 inches, Fluval doesn't have it and currents is just phenomenal. Uh, their 48 inch light is just as phenomenal. So what's neat is I've only talked about the Sun Sun to this company, but apparently they were watching some videos and they sent me the Zet light. 1200, it's got four colors, full spectrum for plants. Um, but I really like the packaging. That's something I'll go over in the review, but it has an app, it's T5 equivalent, T8 equivalent if I need to, it's waterproof. But let me give you a little sneak preview of this packaging, look at that. It sits in this sheath, so to speak, so you don't have to worry about boxing and if you need to store it, you can store it. So, um, curious, look at that. What? Ah! 
Uh, no, I, I think that that's cool. I was told um, in a follow-up email that this light is supposed to compete on the level of which the Phoenix is at. I don't know the pricing, I'll get all that information, but I'm super excited to see how they operate. I'm probably gonna put it on the Trophius tank. Um, if you didn't know, I also have the current on the Trophius tank to provide uh, a next level coloring experience because current is just really, really good at that. So, Zet Light 1200, Sun Sun HW3000, and this bad boy. So we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of stuff happening. I'm getting ready to travel. Uh, I'm giving my first presentation for the Capital Cichlid Association next weekend, April 13th. If you go to j-wilson.com, the information's there. I'll be posting some more throughout the week. Um, everybody is doing good in the tank, the Malawi tank. However, I did lose a fish. I'm assuming it was from aggression because everybody else is fine, uh, but no harm, no foul. If you've kept Malawi, you know that that's the case. This tank is still fully operational, zero deaths since the moment I set it up. This tank has a little bit of an algae problem and it's because of the windows there, but that is to be expected. So look forward to Thursday's video. Have no idea what it's gonna be on, but I'm super stoked to try out these products. I've got some ideas that I'm still working on with a couple of companies. The dart frogs are looking lush. I'm going to have to cut, trim these plants and if you go to northfinusa.com and you do purchase food, I will say this, over the next 90 or so days, I'm gonna be trying some things out. Um, I want your feedback, good or bad. Of course, the better is the best, but I wanna know, do you like it? Are, are, you, are you comfortable with it? Um, I'm not gonna divulge all this information, but you'll see it. If you're ordering from northfinusa.com, you know that you're going to get quality Northfin products at the right price. They're not gonna be expired. It's not Amazon. You're, you're, you're giving back to somebody that's in the hobby, and ultimately I get to use that money to continue to fulfill the business and help do things in the hobby that, well, we all enjoy doing. So I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. You know what's next. Aha! I almost forgot, I have to show you. Well, actually, I just need your information. I need your knowledge. I need your background on this wood. And I've got some plants from LR Brits. Lucas doing his thing, uh, but they're only in quarantine because I really didn't know what I wanted to do with them. So I just tossed them into that quarantine tank I had for the cichlids, uh, which is where all of the wood is. So let me know what I should do uh, with this wood and I'll show you where it's going to go. Oh, there is a lot of plantage here from LR Brits, from the Aquatic Ix. Actually, from Aquashella. <laughs> but, as you can see, I've got the spider wood here, and then I have the bonsai. It's only being held, uh, this is just a, this is just a mess, this aquarium, but this was never designed to do any of this, but I've got this bonsai tree, I've got some moss for it coming, and then I've got all this spider wood. So I wanna show you what, what tanks I wanna put it in, I want your ideas. So with all that spider wood, I was thinking maybe something here in the back and it kind of just kind of crawls out over here. I'm still waiting on the shrimp. The reason why is I've got some travel that's happening. I'm speaking, like I said earlier in this video. Um, I'm hoping that these plants are doing okay. Um, Flip Aquatics does a great job and they seem to be crawling out. I've got some die off, but I, I kind of anticipated that. Liam wanted these floating moss balls and you know, the tank's registered, it's ready for Cardinia. Um, I'm testing everything properly. And so now I just have to wait till I have some free time uh, to bring these bad boys in here. But this is one of the aquariums that I'm looking to put some of that spider wood in. But let me know what you think. Tell me where to put it or where you would put it. Well, now I have to show you the other place that I wanna put this. And it's this guy right here. Look at that. Same style aquarium, uh, same deal. It's not plugged in, there's nothing. I've got the substrate there. Ooh, got the substrate there. And I really just need to know, um, I'd like to put that bonsai tree right here, maybe in the center, or maybe build it up and have it kind of hang over. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Because I'm new to this, and I've got all that stone up there and I need to figure it out. Where, where's the stone? Show them. The stone's up there. Tell them. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, almost forgot to tell you all that. These plants have been doing well for the most part. I have some, some Mr. Like this male right here. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. I didn't wanna get off topic, but good night. So yeah. help me out, ah! Help me out, let me know what you think, ah. and we'll figure it out. What are you doing? Say it. Ah! Tell him. No, we're jumping with a pickle. Is that pickle good? Yes, no? Okay, okay, thanks for watching.